Very true. No, sorry. I was just getting the map ready for this. And we'll show you. Let's talk about that. Look at that. that. Yes. Oh, we had some That's amazing, amazing pictures. Yeah, this is Kerry Jones. He works for the National Weather right. Service and does a Look great job that. for them. And it's kind of their outreach guy to mm -hmm. kind of be the liaison between some of what we do, yeah. some of what they do, and obviously getting the information to you guys. So supercell thunderstorm right here. Amazing stuff. Let's is talk numbers, though, on tornadoes across New Mexico. It's interesting stuff. On average, New Mexico sees around 10 tornadoes each year. That's kind of a rough number here. But just yesterday, as you guys mentioned it, or really over the past three days, ending yesterday, we had 14 tornadoes total during that three-day period. Now, most tornadoes in New Mexico are sort of EF0 to EF1 tornadoes, which are not that strong. Yes, they can do some damage, but they don't tend to level houses like the ones that we saw here. So these were stronger. We're still waiting for the official report on exactly what those tornadoes were, but at least probably EF2s and maybe EF3s, where we get some pretty strong ones out there occasionally. Now, take a look at this. From 1950 to 2013, we've had 543 total tornadoes, five fatalities, 155 injuries. The longest path, get this, 50 miles for a tornado, and the widest path, 1,760 yards. That is a really wide and very big tornado. So where did the tornadoes happen? Just 55 in central and western sections of the state. So we don't tend to see nearly as many as we do, say, east of the central mountain chain, where we had 488 since 1950. So that's where all of the action is. And you say to yourself, why is that? Well, a couple of reasons. Number one is that we tend to see pretty good moisture flow across the east side of the state here from the Gulf. And number two, there are no mountains to take some of the wind flow and mess with it at all. It's a nice, even setup here across the east side of the state. And you need flat, you need good moisture to get good tornado environment. And that's exactly what we have across the eastern side of the state. As far as what's going on right now, not much. Things have cleared out nicely. 80 degrees in the metro, north northwest winds right now, 13 miles an hour. Temperatures 50s and 60s off to the north, some 70s as well. Down to the south, 60s, 70s, and some low to mid 80s. Now, the highs today across the area were warm, but they're going to continue to get warmer. Pretty nice, though, across the northeast. Temperatures in the low 70s, down to the south, 80s and 90s. Looking at the satellite and radar, not much right now. High pressure sort of dominating our weather here across the southwest, and what we're going to get for tonight will be largely clear skies across the area. Temperatures will dip a bit during the overnight hours here, but nothing too cold across the area. And then tomorrow, looking good. Temps go up a few more degrees across a good portion of New Mexico with warm conditions and then getting hot as we head into Wednesday. Triple digit heat across the southeast, warm up across the northeast here. And if we're going to see a shower over the next, say, three to four days, likely to be the northeast once again, northern mountains as well. Thursday could even see a sprinkle or two heading into say Wednesday, but I don't anticipate many issues along that front. And we're going to talk about our fire forecast here coming up in our next half hour because it is interesting stuff. And we'll break down exactly what we expect from that and what's going on with that fire forecast. We have a little more time in our next half hour. 84 Durango, 82 in Pagosa Springs and 80 out in Alamosa, partly cloudy, an isolated storm. Meanwhile, across the northwest, mostly sunny skies for tomorrow and for the foreseeable future, right around 90 degrees or so. Southwest, sun and clouds, mild conditions, 84 Silver City, 92 in Deming and 90 one out in TRC. Meanwhile, over to the southeast, sunny, warmer conditions here. Temps for the most part in the 80s and 90s. Up to the northeast, mostly sunny and dry. Temps here, 70s and 80s. Meanwhile, over the northern mountains, going to top things out. 70s and 80s with sun and clouds and an isolated storm of possibility. A little better chance a little later in the week. 84 Cedar Crest, 87 in Edgewood, and 87 in Estancia. And finally, right here in the metro area, 50s for the most part as you get up tomorrow morning. And then we'll round it out in the 80s and low 90s. Getting up to 94 on Wednesday, Thursday into Friday, low 90s. Much more on Twitter at KRQE Mark. All right, okay. Mark, thank, thank you. you, Mark.